So one thing that people tend to not know about me as a content creator is I am born and raised in the good old state of Wisconsin. And out here in Wisconsin, we have a ton of farmland. We, we're, we're always cultivating lots of different stuff. Typically, corn is one of the biggest things we harvest out here, but we also have a lot of cows. That's why you know we're known for our cheese here in Wisconsin, due to the cows that we have. Uh, we do chickens as well. Uh, those are kind of the three main areas that we end up harvesting out here on farms. Uh, we also have some other ones. There are some people that do like sunflowers and, and other things like that. But the point is that I grew up in Wisconsin in the heart of the Midwest farmland scene. And while my family, you know, at least my immediate family weren't farmers, I know many, many farmers. I've been on many farms. I have milked a cow. All right. I have actually done this stuff. When you go to our local and our state fairs, there's a lot of farming themes there because that is where I grew up. It's just part of the culture out here. And, you know, sometimes it's just fun to do a summer drive out on the back roads, just driving by all the different farms and taking in the sceneries and often the smells. And what better way to maybe get a little bit of that feeling in your home than playing a farming simulator. Today's video is sponsored by Farming Simulator 23, or better yet, Giant Software, wanting us to talk about Farming Simulator 23. Now, having some experience on the farm, I felt like it might be good for me to look at this and see how authentic this is. Obviously, does the game run well? all that kind of stuff now it is available right now on nintendo switch and you can purchase it from certain retail stores as well such as amazon walmart target gamestop best buy who knows maybe even your local game store i have no idea because uh, your local game store is your local game store now it, the farming simulator on switch does create a portable and family friendly way to play and and just you know become a farmer right kids who may have seen their parents playing the game or possibly even farming in the fields can now play it on their favorite console and from the jump seat of a tractor while doing chores with their parents i, I think that's kind of interesting uh, way to look at it and you know what i gotta say this game ain't that bad you're, you're you're trying to be you know simulating farm life i think it does a very good job of that so farming simulator 23 invites players to take control of their own farm in a realistic open world setting where they are invited to build an agricultural empire and this is so true holy crap my farm is starting to really grow at this point i think i'm just about to buy the barn to uh house cows because of course from wisconsin i kind of want to house some cows it's a little expensive Farming is expensive. Now, Farming Simulator 23 features more than 130 authentic vehicles and tools from real brands, such as Case IH, Class, Dutz Far, Fent, John Deere, Crone, Massey Ferguson, New Holland, Voltra, among other machines that level up the farmer's agricultural career. Players will develop knowledge and skills of agricultural machine operations, animal husbandry, forestry, and more. Now, specific things new in this version of Farming Simulator compared to old ones are there are two brand new open world maps featuring landscapes inspired by US and European locations. Players can now grow new crops, harvesting grapes, olives, and sorghum, offering more farming variety and a total of 14 crops to work. With production chains, players can experience their harvest come full circle, allowing the option to produce and sell profitable goods, which is awesome. That's number one way. Like right now I'm harvesting a lot of wheat and I'm selling it to try to, you know, level up. And I, I actually got my chickens now heavy at work, making eggs, trying to get those sold. So man, it's actually, it, it honestly, I, when I, when I took on this sponsorship, I really wasn't sure what to expect. And I gotta say, I feel like I'm out on the farm. It's pretty cool. You can harvest wheat to produce flour and sell bread or sell the eggs from your chickens, the cotton from your crops to make clothes, olives from trees to make olive oil, and even timber to produce furniture. There's various other features like the automated loading for logs and pallets for easier handling, visual seasonal effects, helper functionality to support players, 
and reworked tutorials upon the game start, improved explanations, and map tours. And I did take place with the tutorial because I just wanted to understand the controls of the system, and it really made a lot of sense. I got to be honest, you know, as I was uh, tilling the fields and planting the seed and, and, and emptying... Uh, <laughs> I forget what they're called, the, the, the big beams that come off the tractor and, and unload into the dump truck and then you bring that over uh, to either you know process it, you can store it in a silo, you can sell your weed off. I gotta say, as I was running around in, in Farming Simulator, and when they say open world, they really mean it. Just hop in your tractor and drive anywhere. It's, it's kind of nuts. I, I gotta say that giving me the taste of the farm life is something that I might appreciate more than some of you. I don't know how many of you grew up around farms or know a whole lot about farms, but they're very detailed in this, like how animal husbandry works. Like, hey, you gotta have a rooster, but you also have to have chickens and hens that are actually of mature age in order to, you know, get baby chicks and and, and, and finding that fine balance between space for them, plus food, plus cleaning up after them, having to uh, choose which fields are right, having to do crop rotations, right? That's something you have to do out in the world like you might plant corn and corn and corn and corn and over and over and over in one field but eventually you know even with uh nutrient replenishment and stuff like that sometimes you need to rotate your fields and instead of planting corn there maybe uh now this time you're planting wheat because you want to replenish that field with different nutrients and your wheat fields become your corn fields so that is that is something that is very common and yes crop rotation here can help as well i, I find this game to be relaxing I think that's my number one takeaway. I mean, beyond being very, very accurate to what farming life is really like, obviously, without the hard work and sweat, like being able to start a task and then hire someone to, to do it for you. Yes, that person does cost money, but also helps automate and lets you get more stuff done more quickly. I do find this game to be very relaxing in a way that I wasn't expecting because obviously I've been playing a ton of Tears of the Kingdom and look Tears of the Kingdom can be relaxing in some respects but let's just be honest there's so much going on and so much chaos at all times that every now and then after I've put in a good two three four hour play session sometimes it's a little like a little stressful when you're when you're done like I, I've been doing this this underworld quest chain for a while and I gotta say even though after three hours, I finally got to where I wanted to be uh, for the one quest, and and I completed that part only for it to open up a new part. I gotta say, after I completed that part, I was like, man, I gotta put this thing down because it was kind of stressful. And maybe that stress is good in some regards, but then also was a nice reminder that I need to take breaks from games that are so action-packed like that and, and, and really make you think really hard. And so I actually, when I was working on this video, switched over to Farming Simulator just to, you know, try out the game. And honestly, after, you know, a couple of hours, I felt kind of relaxed. And I, I feel like that might be a good place for this game is whether you're playing Tears of the Kingdom or shooter games or other action packed games. And sometimes you just need something to relax. Now, obviously, they're going to aim this towards people who uh, previously lived the farm life or children on farms that maybe can't help their parents run the big rig machines and stuff like that. Here's a game where you can do the big rigs. And uh, that's really cool. And I, and I think that's probably the core audience for this. But as someone who didn't grow up on the farm but grew up in farm land central, I do find it super relaxing in so many ways. So what I think you guys should do is at least check the game out, right? We got links down in the description to various different places to purchase the game. This game is very, very in-depth. It's $44.99 physically. It's extreme. I, I can't stress how in-depth this game is. I, I'm, uh, the more I play, the more I am surprised the considerations they made from what I know from real life farm life. And it controls really well. Your character runs around. I haven't noticed uh, any glitches at this point. And I know, you know, I've only spent a few hours with the game. Man, it, I, I gotta say, I, I took it over to uh, one of my friend's houses. who They, they still do some farming with pigs. And uh, I let them play for a little bit. And when they, uh, after about an hour or so, were sitting there around the campfire. And they, he was just like, man. You know, this game is very accurate to what I went through when I used to work on, you know, field farms and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, man, like 
dude, I didn't grow up in that life, but I've been around it. I, I, I agree. So you guys do with that information what you will. I want to say thanks again to Giants Software and uh, Farming Simulator 23. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Go ahead and check it out on Nintendo Switch. And you can go ahead and pick up your copy from Amazon, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, GameStop, maybe the Nintendo Switch eShop, whichever way you prefer to get your games. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will catch you in that next video. Thank you.